Alright folks, now here it is. Uh, this is the blind play, I have to put that in parentheses now, of Bioshock. Um, I've recently been having some technical difficulties with trying to get recordings done properly. And so basically I recorded the first three parts of this run um, completely blind. They were completely blind at the time. However, the audio for part one got somehow screwed up. It didn't record my audio, it only recorded the game audio and stuff happened with that to which uh, basically what I'm going to be doing here is we're just going to play through up to where I got uh, previously through my first three recorded parts however um, once we get there from then on the run will be blind so unfortunately the first part of this run isn't going to be blind and um, it's kind of a bummer I really wanted it to be blind but that's just the way that things worked out so we're gonna start a new game and we're gonna go from there so let's go with this and we're gonna go with medium because I discovered that hard is just a little bit too much for me given that I'm still kind of getting used to the game and um, trying to figure things out so maybe in our future run I may try a hard mode or the hard mode of this but uh, in my original blind or play I did have some blind, have, uh, have it on hard. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. So one of the things that I did mention um, in my first recording of this was the fact that I'm going to try and let the game um, do most of the talking for you guys. My commentary is just going to kind of add elements to it uh, so you guys get an idea of what I'm thinking, processes like that. But for the most part I'm going to let the game do the, uh, the playing here. And there's a shoe which is kind of interesting. Um, I guess we're going to be playing this game with one shoe. Maybe? But uh, it looks like our plane crashed, and there goes a propeller, which is pretty crazy. Um, we're almost to the top. Come on. Come on, get there. Alright. So I think we finally have control now. Yes, we do. Alright, so this is the wreckage of our plane here. I uh, can't really see the name of the plane there, but uh, if we head over here, we see a board. Where's uh, Jack and Rose? Come on here, right? Maybe that's a box. Looks like a box. Let's go through this open area where there's less fire and hopefully things will be okay. There's the rest of the plane going down, I think. And when I originally uh, started playing this blind, I actually... Oh, there's another piece of board there, I guess. I actually went around this lighthouse hoping there would be like some sort of secret, I don't know, like I feel like as a game developer I would probably put something behind the, uh, behind the lighthouse, but fortunately I was let down from that regard and uh, I guess we're gonna play this game without shoes and without feet, so uh, not too bad. But this door is open so we're gonna go through here. And the door shuts behind us. Come on. Alright. No gods or kings, only man. So this is Andrew Ryan, I assume. Hm. So. I'm not sure who he is just yet, but we'll find out eventually, I guess. Maybe. Interesting design here. Fish and water. I think this is the song from the trailer. I, I've only really seen the trailer prior to playing this. Um, I have no idea what else the game is about, really, other than what I've played to up to so far. But we're gonna go in and service radio. I guess we can't do anything with that. We're just gonna pull this lever find out what happens. So I guess we're going underwater. And it's 
kind of suspicious, you know, this random sphere type shape thing. You know, let's just hop in because no one else is around and we just crash out of a plane. It's not really my first uh, idea. Incinerate. Fire at your fingertips. Interesting. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington. It belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican. It belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Uh -huh. Cities where the artists Interesting would not city. Be There's a good find by would not be bound by any morality. Where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. well. At least he's kind of inviting, wants us to be part of his city. And there's some weird guy fixing a wall, it looks like. Um, yeah, we'll say he's trying to fix the wall. There's a whale. Kind of cool. Splicers. So they're obviously talking about me for some reason. Telekinesis. Huh. It's interesting. Driving here. Oh, that guy's got some sharp hooks for hands. I want to say. Whoa. Um. Don't think I want to mess with those people. I would rather not. You can't see me, right? Is it someone new? No, there's nobody in here. Oh. Uh, what are you doing? Oh. They're, like, trying to break in here. Oh. That's not good. Please don't make it in here. Please run away. Well, at least you didn't get in. Would you kindly pick up that shortwave radio? Who is this guy? Can't tell me what to do. Well, I guess we can't go back up, right? Can I pull this lever? <laughs> oh, we'll grab the radio. Want to step out of there? It's kind of not very friendly when something with claws comes out and wants to kill me. We're gonna need to draw out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. All right, we're gonna have to trust this guy, just random guy who just starts talking to us. There's some luggage and stuff. I'm not sure what that is. Both. I would 
kindly rather you didn't. There's a bunch of luggage down here, so someone's been here before. All bathysphere travel is now denied. So apparently these people don't like these bathyspheres. Rapture is dead. Well, from that video the guy says it seems like it's uh, still going strong. Let's hopefully not encounter this dude with claws. That'd be great. Alright. Just walk carefully around here. Whoa! Alright, this looks like a train station? Or maybe it's talking about the bad spheres. Yeah, take her out, take her out. Go, 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 go. Is she gone? Is she gone? Now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Bloody splicer. Seal Johnny in before they... Goddamn splicers. Yes, Johnny was that little robot there. Press E to jump. Alright. So we're looking for some kind of crowbar. So these people really don't like this Ryan guy. I feel like I probably won't like him either. Look near the broken door, eh? There's a wrench. I guess we can use this for something. Like bashing suitcases, right? Bashing suitcases? Anything else in there? Come on, give me like a screwdriver or something. I don't know. Can we bash this thing? No, oh, left then. That's at least kind of cool. So I guess we can interact with things in our environment. All bathysphere travel is now denied. Alright, I guess we'll break through here and crouch down and find our way out. Oh! Back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's see to stand up. Alright, let's go this way. Leave me alone! Oh. You want some of this? Stop! There we go. Kill them. No one else is here, right? So we can search him for some stuff. And Eve and first aid kit. That's kind of cool. Who is talking to me? So those things try and kill me. Definitely want to stay away from them, it seems. Uh, we've got potato chips. I guess we can eat these for health. A pet bar. I guess that's what that is. Health and Eve gain. Okay, so pet bars are good. Double gain. Um, what else have we got around here? Anything in here? Nope, can't search that. Uh, what we got in here? Potato chips. More potato chips. Sorry, at least we're back to full now. Um... One man's vision. Alright, so I guess that's talking about Rapture. 1946. So I guess this place is a little bit old. Uh, 15 years, somewhere around there. Right, let's just go up this way. I don't think we can go anywhere else. Uh, whoa. Gatherer's Garden. Genetic modifications. Looks kind of interesting. Anything here? Oh, I'll take that. Anything over here? First aid kit. Alright, let's go back to the ominous bottle and hopefully it gives us something cool. Ugh. <sighs> I don't know if I'd be the first person to just like inject something into my body like that. Are you writing my code? <laughs> well, yeah, everything is gonna be fine, right? This 
little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on Adam. You guys are scared of these big daddy, metal daddy, whatever they're called. And I think I ought to be scared of them as well. With a claw like that? <laughs> Drill? Look, Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute, he's still breathing. It's alright. Huh. I know he'll be an angel soon. So they only want me when I'm dead, apparently. That's I guess a plus, and apparently I'm not dead, which is better than I could have hoped for. First time plasma's a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? Alright, left button to use plasma, so it's just like shooting fish in a barrel, right? I guess I can zap that thing? This thing? There we go. Power up the door. Opportunity awaits. Well, let's hope for the best, right? Oh. What is that? Oh, that's, that's a plane. Well, it looks like something's flooding in here. Should probably try and get out of here before the entire place floods. Can't really find anything there. There's a suitcase. Let's can we switch to our thing. There, there's our wrench. Oh, there's barreling through here. Whoa, Securus. Something's gonna come out of that. What was that? Was it a tentacle? Oh, is that a fish? Oh, there's a fish. I'd like to be able to eat that thing. Apparently not. There's another one. Well, oh, let's just keep going through, I guess. And these doors just seem to open automatically for us, which is nice. Okay, close behind us. Well, we're stuck in here. So right button to switch between plasmid and wrench. Alright, let's stick with the plasmid for now. Alright. We got potato chips and cigarettes. Let's see, what's this? A pack of cigarettes will give you a very small boost of Eve. Warning may cause health complications. They are consumed immediately when picked up. Alright, so apparently cigarettes aren't the greatest for you. Um, let's see what happens. Health lost, but Eve gained. Alright, I guess we can restore some health with the chips. What is this guy here? first aid kit. We get a Eve Hypo, whatever that is. I think those restore my mana bar, the blue one? Something like that? Alright, um, let's go back this way. Oh, trash can. There's no one else in here, right? Who's moving all this stuff? Well, there's a Vita chamber. I saw one of those before. Interesting. Alright, alcohol. Can we find out what that is? Small amount of health, but drain a small amount of Eve. Okay, so it's the opposite of the cigarettes. Alright. Let's pick up the pan, man. That's better than a wrench, right? Hey, there's a cat down here. Interesting. Alright. Well, looks like there's not much else that should explode. Whoa. Splicer! Give him the combo. Zap him, then whack him. One Zap two and punch. whack him. Remember, the one two punch. I didn't touch her! Don't run! Stop it. One two punch, like that. There we go. Zap and smash, right? Well, 
killed our second enemy. I think that's a good start. Okay, so looks like our zap and smash technique is gonna help us. Take that stuff from him. Tell, tell Ryan I'm sorry. No, I won't do it again. No, please, please, don't. Oh, that's a piece, right? Oh, he's on fire. So, fire guys can't be electrocuted. Interesting. How do I refill my mana bar? I'm not sure. Anything over here? else I can pick up. Alright, let's go through this door. Huh. Just opens at will, right? Who is screaming? Excelsior, elevator repair. Is that me or someone else? Making noise. I guess let's go up the elevator and find out. Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the Splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe... I know you must Who feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now. Is that him? But you are the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Oh, she looks kind of creepy. She looks friendly, right? Mom's gone. I don't trust her. Revolver. The bloodlets changed everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. Well, I guess I could drink this because I don't have any Eve left. And Oh, there goes my refill. I feel like there should be an easier way of refilling that mana stuff. And there's another Vita chamber, I guess those are. Uh, what do we got over here? First aid kit. Pet barn. Alright. So, our revolver has six bullets. I think I'm gonna try and conserve those while I can. Did I search this corpse? Yes, I did. Well, I guess it was a splicer, so worth not trusting her. She looks like a regular person, though. That's kind of weird. What is this? Cocktail lounge. All right, let's find out what's in the cocktail lounge. There's a mask of a bird. What is that? I'll do what I want. It's my Adam. I earned it. Open the damn door! Well, there's a guy down there. I guess let's deal with him. Last time. Give me my Adam. He's running, Brenda. Die. There we go. 
let's explore in here. What can we find? First aid kit, that's nice. Can't restore my mana just yet, I guess. Um, I guess that's one way of reducing my mana. Eve, I guess they're called. There we go. Now I can restore it. Ha! Right, some money. That's nice. What's in this guy? Three dollars. I guess I can use that. Oh, extra pistol rounds is good. Extra money. Can I get in there? I don't need to drink that. I'm okay for now. Let's just keep going this way. If you spot a splicer in the water, hit him with the electro bolt. Sweet. So, the electricity in water is good. Good to know. He's got some money. Anything else cool over here? Another teddy bear. Ooh, what is this? Press T. Another New Year's. Another night alone. I'm out and you're stuck in Hephaestus. Working. Huh. Imagine my surprise. Oh, I just I guess I'll have another drink. <laughs> Here's a toast to Diane McClintock. Silliest girl in Rapture. Silly enough to fall in love with Andrew Ryan. Silly. Apparently that chick loved Andrew Ryan. It's, well, I guess some people like him, right? Pick that up. Find a way through the restaurant to continue. Yeah, more alcohol. Oh, what's that? First aid kit? Yeah, like, give me that. Dollars. Anything down here? Oh, I guess this is the cocktail lounge. Oh, pep bar, those were good, right? Don't need that. So bunny mask, that's cool. Uh, no more cigarettes. It's through this door, anything? Pet bar, I'll take that. Can I not get through that door? I guess we can't. Let's go this way. I stuck on something. Okay, there we go. She said through the restaurant. I guess that was upstairs. I heard it. Get me back right Find a better hiding place, monster. I can see you. Come and get me. Ah, really? Let's go get her. Don't run away from me! <laughs> Boom. Oh, free money, I'll take it. No one else was up here, right? First aid kit, I will take that. Oh, apparently I can't hold anymore. So, nine seems to be the max. Wrap. 
Rapture. Happy New Year. So I guess this was the night that she uh, had some sort of issue there. Or I guess this was the audio diary was talking about. Alright, what do we got here? Bunny mask. Dancing downstairs. Well, we're already there. Anything over here? Can we use the phone? Local calls. Alright, come on. Call the operator. Us. Well, no more first aid, first aid kits, so that's unfortunate. News vendor. Can I zap that? That was weird. Huh. Oh, what's going on? Spliced up. So apparently these people don't like being splicers. Anything in here? Alright. Their audio diary? Hey Brenda, you care to tell me why you've had a hole in the wall the size of Plymouth Rock coming out of your crapper going on? Three weeks now? Now nah, I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare. I'm trying to run a respectable theater. I got working folk coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch a little diversion. And all I can think about is the stink coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed. I found you that way! Ah! You and smash you. Ha. No one's gonna surprise me. Can't break that. So I guess the only place left to go is that hole in the wall or something. Over there. Um, let's save that for next time. Let's just end that off here. And I'll go explore the hole in the wall next time. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this part though. Um, as I said before, it's not 100% blind. I have played through the first hour and a bit maybe. Well hour as far as me playing through it is concerned but uh, eventually we'll get back to where it is finally blind again but I think this is where we're going to end things off and uh, I think that's where we're going to end this episode so I'll see you guys next time peace